Now that wind correction angle and ground speed are done, you'll notice that we've started to compute, complete a series of blocks that lead us up to a compass heading. These are all heading variation amounts, and we're going to add or subtract from our true course in varying amounts until we get a compass heading. So let's get that compass heading, and let's start by completing these two blocks. True heading. This is talking about magnetic variation as is listed on the sectional chart, and it's either east or west. So let's find out what the magnetic variation is that applies to our route. So on the sectional, you're going to look for these magenta dashed lines that are closest to your route of flight. And we see one over here, and it's listed as 5 degrees west. Now we'll find the next closest one, which is over here further to the east. And the next closest one runs through Orlando, and it says that it is 6 degrees west. So we're somewhere between 5 and 6 degrees west. 5, 6 is over here, and 5 is over here. And I'm going to say that we are closer to 5 degrees west. So I'm going to call it 5 degrees west for our entire route of flight. So on the nav log now, I can fill in. Um, it's either minus east or plus west. You don't have to remember east is least, west is best, because it lists it for you right here. So we're going to do plus 5. It's going to be the same for every leg of a route. Next up is magnetic deviation. Now magnetic deviation is supposed to take into account the electronics in your airplane and it's calibrated on a per airplane basis depending on the direction that you're going. So what you need to do is go take a picture of or find the compass correction card in your airplane. And it gives you varying corrections depending on what direction you're going. So what direction are we going? Well, for starters, we're going north. And it says here, if we're going north, we're supposed to steer 001. So that's a correction of plus 1. So we're going to make that modification here, and our magnetic deviation is plus 1 for north. Now we've turned, so now we're going 322 two degrees. So let's look again at our correction card. So 322, two, the closest reading we have in our correction card to that is 330. And it says for 330, actually fly 328. So that's minus 2, so 2 degrees less. And that's generally di the direction we're going. So we're going to say that's a minus 2. Now we haven't changed course here, so we can just copy the minus 2 right down into the next block. No need to look it up again. All right, so now we're all set. We have all of our heading information, and we can proceed to add them up as we go all the way across this line until we get a compass heading. So starting at 360, we're going to add 0 for the wind correction angle. We're going to add 5, and we're going to add 1 for a total of, that'd be 366, or 6 degrees. So our compass heading on the first leg is 0, 0, 06. For our next one, if we take 322, we subtract 8, add 5, subtract 2, we'll get 317 degrees. And the numbers are exactly the same for this line. So again, we're going to get 317 degrees.